Hey there folks, Gary Bradley here, and in this video I'm going to show you three free scripts that work with colour inside of Illustrator and will definitely save you loads of time. So in the example I've got here, the tree with the leaves on, the only thing selectable are the leaves. They all have one swatch applied to them, so if I select one of them here, you'll notice that in my swatches panel, I have got a group in here with just two colours in, and they're applied with what's called leaf new. I've got a darker green as well, but if I select all those leaves, you might have seen in a previous video, I showed you a script again and the free script that is called random swatch fill. So as an example of that, if I go to the swatches panel and click on the group icon in there, and which is only contains the very bright yellow and the blue in there, when I go to file and then go down to scripts, and if I choose from my list of installed scripts in here, random swatch fill, that's exactly what it'll do. It will apply only those two colors, the ones that were active inside the swatches panel to whatever it has selected inside of the document and you apply that script. There's no deviation to those colors. It is just those two swatches, which, you know, in some cases is great. So I could obviously go to this folder here, click on saturated, pick all of those swatches, go back to uh, the file menu, down to scripts, and then again, choose random swatch fill and all of the colors that are in just that highlighted folder that I had active before are then applied to the tree. So it's great for getting specific colors applied. But what if you want a little bit of variation? Maybe you want to vary the hues. So this is where the script comes in. I'm going to reset them back to that pale green. And then just for good measure, I'm going to reselect them again. And then in here, well, I'm going to go to the swatches panel, click away so no swatches are active. And then on the Mac, hold down the command key, on the PC, hold down the control key. I'm going to click on these two swatches here. So it's a command or a control click on those two. You have to have two swatches active for this because it's going to take a look at these two. It will apply these two colors, but it will also vary the color, the hue in between those two. So we're going to get variations based upon those two colors. If I then go to file, then go down to scripts. I'm going to choose in here, random hues. Now, sometimes it does do this, it was throw up an error, but you can just click OK to this. And there you go. You have those two colors. That was the light to the dark red. It will apply those two, but it will also give you variations in between the two. Now, one thing to look out for is you might find that it just gives you one randomly uncolored item in it. So you can always go back and you could click on one of those swatches in there just to finish that off. But it's the only little downside of fight. Sometimes that script does just leave one of them not recolored. But I mean, it's you know two really great ways to be able to recolor lots of objects randomly. Now you will find that I've included in the show notes a link to all of these scripts in one zip file for you to download. So the last script, if I jump to the first artboard, is to create a legend of all of your swatches. So if you want to pass on or get reference for colors using a project and pass them on to somebody else, well, if I go to my swatches panel and then choose to change my view to list mode in here, you'll see that I now have all these swatches inside of here. And then scroll down list in there, you'll notice that some of them have been named. Some of them have just got random color values in there from what they were defined with. But if I want to pass on those to a colleague or someone I'm working with, then what you do is with nothing selected, go to the file menu, go down to scripts and then choose render swatch legend. And there you go. So you'll notice if I just uh, zoom in a little bit in here, where the swatches didn't have a name other than their color value, you'll see that some of those properties are, um, are repeated in there. But if I have, for example, names for these swatches, like these ones down here, yeah, blush, deep burgundy, it takes those names, it gives you the RGB, the CMYK, and then the LAB for those as well. So it's a really great way to pluck out lots of colors from your document and everything in context. The really nice thing about this as well is that if it's a dark color, changes the text to a light white in there as well. So always keeps the text legible. So that's a really great way to be able to catalog all the swatches in your document three brilliant free scripts that you can use to recolor artwork or work with colors out of Illustrator and save tons of time. As always, if you enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, you want to save loads of time, create great artwork, then click on subscribe and click on the bell. We'll uh, give you a notification every Friday when we drop a video on this channel. And until next time, folks, farewell. <laughs>